We are joined by Mary Lacey. Mary has an illustrious career with Club and County, winning four All-Ireland Senior Camogie titles, 13 County titles are out of the ballot, two Club All-Irelands and three All-Stars. Connor holds three Leinster under 21 medals and is the best known young hurler in the country. Does your current manager have a stats team? Yeah, we have a stats team um, with about four or five guys who travel around with us um, everywhere we go, uh, they go. Um, we a training or a practice match, championship, league or anything like that. And um, they basically um, record every stat that they possibly can and try to feed it back to the team and then down down to yourself. Generally on a match day, it's it's um, it's more so on a, on a general basis and maybe after a game or after training session, uh, they're able to pinpoint um, kind of more personal stats and they're able to record it and you're able to see them and be able to work on it. How big a role do statistics play in the current County Camogie setup? At the moment, it doesn't really play a big role. I think um, in the future it will. Um, I think it's due to the lack of resources in the Camogie, the lack of funds we have, and most manage intercounty management um, just have a certain amount of um, money to use, and it's probably used, you know, on the training fields and dietitians and so. But I do see it coming um, to the fore in the future years because even with Harlan, it's playing a massive role and I do think there's huge benefits of using statistics. Uh, do you feel that statistics lead to an overall improvement in your game? Statistics um, in my inter-county setup um, has a massive impact on what we do, um, where we go from game to game, trainings, um, it, it's basically training in itself um, for us so it has a massive impact um, and it has a massive impact on learning as I said from game to game and uh, from training to training. If you were the manager of the Camogie team what aspects of statistics would you use and why? It pinpoints where teams have to improve, um, it pinpoints on different individual players and um, basically where they have to improve on and I think I love the aspect of statistics that focus on the hooks and the blocks because I think ultimately it's all about work rate and when your teams are using statistics I don't think anyone can hide on the pitch they have to give 100% or the statistics will basically tell all. Uh, do you agree or disagree with the emphasis put on stats and analytics in the modern game? I, I think it is a massive advantage um, and, it, and as it's getting more and more you know, influential. I think it's it is it is a massive advantage. The more you get, in ways, I probably would think as well that if it goes too far, it could nearly be like American football, where there's lads talking about their stats when they're playing practice game in four years previous, and they're mentioning it again. But um, generally, I think it has a massive impact, and it's 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 really good idea. Do you stick to a strict diet while competing during the championship? Um, particularly now in the last few years, I have had a very strict diet that I would have stuck to, um, particularly um, at this time of year when training is very hard and if you don't feel your body with the right nutrition, you're just so sore the next day after training. So it's really important after training just to get some type of protein. Um, or not you'll pay for it in the next two days after training. Um, also, during the summer, I think it's really important that you're eating right because when you're eating right, you feel good about yourself and you feel um, it helps you in the last 10 minutes of the match, ultimately. Getting the right foods in at the right times as well is, is vital. Um, there's no point in fuel, fueling yourself with lots of fatty stuff when you're wanting to go training and look for energy and stuff like that. Um, making sure you're getting your protein after training and uh, always keeping hydrated basically 24-7 if you could. Give us an example of the type of diet you have while competing. Um, before a game it's vital that you fuel your body so the night before I'd always have spaghetti bolognese um, I find that's really good and gives me loads of energy um, particularly the week coming up to a match I'd be trying to drink my two to three litres of water per day. Um, the morning of a match, I would usually have, whether so, it depends, maybe scrambled egg and beans and a slice of brown bread. 
and then just before the match, maybe two hours, two and a half hours before, I'd have a, a sandwich with some turkey and a bit of cheese and lettuce and just, as I said, just be drinking water all morning. And then if I was a little bit hungry before the match, I would probably have a few Jaffa cakes. I'm sure every dressing room has a box of Jaffa cakes. On All-Ireland final day, what would you have typically eaten? In the morning, I'd wake up and have a bowl of porridge, uh, maybe go get a shower or something like that, and then come back and have a bit of brown bread and a couple of scrambled eggs. Um, generally, throughout the day, then, uh, you're kind of drinking water and maybe eating a couple of snacks, keeping your body you know, not hungry. Um, and then the next meal would probably be Generally, it's kind of chicken and pasta, and um, that'd be kind of your main source of source of energy, and um, for for kind of an afternoon game, and then if if you had a, a bit of a bus journey and you were you were a bit hungry again, you generally kind of pack a like a little sandwich or or something to keep you going, just in the case of uh, of getting a bit of a appetite before the game. Um, as Mary said, then probably an odd jaffa cake or a fig roll. Um, wouldn't go astray. Do you see an improvement in your performance as a result of your diet? Yeah, I think a good diet uh, definitely improv, improv, improves your performance. Um, I think everyone is different in ways as well that some people love everything by the book um, and then others you know, can get a kick out of, of the different stuff. So I think generally um, a really good diet enhances your performance and uh, It'll, you'll definitely f uh, find the results, and if you're if you're not eating well or, or drinking lots of water, and you're you're basically cheating on yourself really, um, and you you won't you won't get the performances you're looking for consistently. You might get it at the odd time, but uh, you definitely won't get it consistently. Connor, does Davy Fitz have a dietitian, and did previous managers have a dietitian in the past? In the under twenty one setups that we had that reached the other and finals. Um, there was a lot of guys who were uh, mixing with the seniors and under twenty one at the time, um, and while there wasn't a an under twenty one uh, set dietitian, um, there was with the seniors, and we kind of anyone who was involved with both setups, kind of passed on the the common sense and knowledge of um, of what they've learned to to players who may not have known as much, um, or, or how important uh, nutrition and, and your diet is. So um, for for the two All Irelands, uh, we kind of just basically used what we knew and passed it on to passed it on to others who didn't, and 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 went from there. Um, in the present setup with Wexford, um, we do have a dietitian, and um, uh, she's just fantastic. Um, she leaves no stone unturned, and I think last year, particularly the summer, it was very hot here and I, she did hydration tests and it really opened your eyes um, a lot of the girls including myself we were dehydrated even before we played some of the matches um, you think you're hydrating by drinking two litres a day but in particularly hot weather that's not enough when you're trying to play and peak in inter-county matches.